guys welcome back to diana marie tv thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of them bulls if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any updates from my channel so there is no secret that the bulls will be exploring that point guard position in the off season and i have done three videos on three potential draft prospects trey jones darius garland and john Morant. and if you haven't seen it make sure you check it out but out of all three of those you guys are really stuck on John Morant and Darius Garland which is very understandable so in this video we will be doing comparisons between John Morant and Darius Garland to see who is a better fit for the Chicago Bulls so let's start with John Morant per game he has drawn a lot of comparisons to Damian Lillard and Kemba Walker, two of the best point guards in the league. The difference between Garland and Morant is Garland's craftiness and his pull-up shot. When he's driving to the rim, he does all of these acrobatic moves, which could be credited to his size, but he's going to do everything he can to make sure that the ball goes in. Also, Darius Garland is great at splitting screens and being a great two-way player. He is an excellent three-point shooter and shot four 48% from behind the arc and has made it very clear that he can shoot from anywhere on the court. Now the con about Garland which was completely out of his control is that he was injured so early on in his college season that we weren't able to see him play a lot and it would have been nice to see him play in a tournament to really get a good read and to see if the Bulls should get him because as of right now the Bulls will be drafting him off of potential and after all of this tanking and rebuild the Bulls really need to land a valuable player that can help the team get to the playoffs having Garland next to Levine, Laurie and Otto would be interesting to see because Garland is not as dominating as Morant and I could see him being more of a passer than him having the ball in his hands a lot. Garland also struggles with playing defense like Morant, and like I said about Morant, it's not really a red flag because he needs to get on the right team and be coached under the right person and also put on more weight. So let me know in the comments, are you team Garland or team Morant? Has your opinion changed on these players? Let me know in the comments. Please share and like this video. Subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.